Hey everyone, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day because welcome back to my fresh new video. Today I'm going to be reviewing this HP EliteBook A570P awesome laptop. So basically I got this off eBay and it was under $500 and you see some discoloration but really nice. And yeah, I'm going to be doing a review on this laptop. So yeah, let's get started right away. So the good good thing about this laptop is, oh, don't mind this book, but the good thing is about this laptop is when I flip it over, it's super upgradable. So you don't need any screwdriver to, you know, just take it out. So what you do first to upgrade it is just do that. Bam. It's like a brand new car. You just open it, you check out your engine. This is your engine, this is whatever, and this is your radiator, and whatever. It's just like a car, you just open your hood. This is why I love this laptop. So the RAM, it has two 4 gigabyte RAM sticks. So in total of eight gigabytes. So super fast little laptop, even, even for gaming. This has one hard drive here and another hard drive here. I took the DVD drive out and upgraded it to a uh, hard drive caddy. So two hard drives. In the future, I'm gonna put an SSD into this. And here's the Intel Wi-Fi chip, and here's the Bluetooth chip. So the processor is, if I can remember, is a Intel Core i7 IV Brit 3520M and the graphics card is a AMD Radeon 7570M boom 1GB of G GDDR5 so it's enough and you see that little chipset cute little chipset right there really nice little computer but the drawback of this computer you see the speakers right there these are really tiny speakers can't do loud noises and yeah I have one battery currently this can easily get me two hours of battery life uh, web browsing and yeah and then if I want more battery I just go on eBay and buy another battery that can fit here so yeah let's get to the review right now if I can put this cover back this is by far the easiest laptop to upgrade I love this laptop so yeah the good thing about this laptop is like when you open the lid this whole entire laptop won't go up like those cheapo plastic laptops and here we do have some buttons we have a dedicated um we have a dedicated calculator button, a dedicated mute button, a dedicated web browser button, and a dedicated internet button. Really nice and handy. So they uh, the HP put that there is just because this laptop is made for business people. So if they're if, if they are in a ma in a meeting and they accidentally turn on some loud music, done. Nothing to worry about. So yeah, this display is a um, 1600 by 800 display, I think. So also a good thing about this laptop is the build quality. The build quality is top notch. You can see here, this is made from aluminum and the trackpad is made from glass. So, and the cover is also made from aluminum and the bottom upgrade bay is also made from aluminum. So full on aluminum, aluminum unibody design. See that? You hear that? Aluminum unibody design. Really nice little laptop. And uh, yeah, it does have some screen issues but I'm planning about getting a new display for this uh, it doesn't really affect me that much now I'm running Minecraft to test it out and now you can see that the FPS is running pretty well this is a medium settings so yeah it's running really well around 100 FPS okay now let's get into GTA 4 you guys see it's pretty smooth um, yeah, see, there's no lag whatsoever. Whatsoever. The medium settings is just fine for this laptop. Everything's running great. All right, after this, let's go chess GTA 5. It's currently running GTA 5. No lag at all. Really nice little computer. All right, let's go to the benchmark. The FPS is around 30 to 35. Really nice laptop. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you do, please comment down below what you want me to review in a future video. And guys, have a great day. It's me, Oztech, Sonya. Bye.